Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and welcome back to our special Buttershot.com series on installing Ubuntu. In this segment, we've just installed Ubuntu. The install process completed in the last segment. We restarted the computer, and now we're ready to log in for the first time. So here's the account we created. So we've logged into Ubuntu. And you can see here, there are some basic areas in the system. Up here is where you can access your applications, access places like the desktop, your documents folder, music, and so on. Here's your system section where you can handle preferences and administration. Here's an icon for Firefox, which comes installed. You can see over here it shows the account name, also shows the date and time, icon for sound, you can adjust the sound or mute it. And over here you have virtual desktops. You get four, you can move things back and forth, it's very handy. And there's also your trash. Now, one of the things you might want to do if you've just set it up is go down to Monitors. It will make it a little bit larger. Tell it to apply. We'll keep this configuration. Say Close. Another thing we can do is change the desktop background by right-clicking. You have some default backgrounds that come with Ubuntu, and there are others that you can download, and you can always use images of your own. I'll pick this image of the Earth. So now I've done that. Another thing you might want to do, if you want to set up email, go here to the little email icon, click that, say Set Up Mail. The default in Ubuntu is Evolution Email. It's very, very good. And then you would just go through and create your email account. Another thing with Firefox, Ubuntu pretty well identifies your network. If your PC has been running Windows on a network, about 99 times out of 100, Ubuntu is going to find your network automatically, and you won't have to do anything. See? Here we are. We're connected. Here's butterscotch.com. So these are some of the basics of your first login into Ubuntu. If we assume that you've been playing with it, either in Wubi, or on a live CD, or in a dual boot. You've probably been poking around with a lot of the applications and a lot of the settings, but now that it's installed on your computer, this is a good time for you to go through and make sure that everything is set up exactly the way you want. Things like Bluetooth, the keyboard, messaging, monitors, and so on. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all the parts. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.